Riley's hooker. Fitzgerald takes it up. Only about 18 metres out from Brothers Line. Ziggy Strasser, formerly a centre with uh, Valleys, and of course with Norths before that coming down from Mount Isa as it slipped back to Nallor for Valleys across to Harkin. Back it comes this time now to Walker. Walker's out wide then towards Coyne, and here's Stephen Boys in the centres, out wide then to the fullback. Booth into the movement. Booth sends it back inside to his uh, to uh, Geordie Laurie. Geordie Laurie, the replacement on that wing in number six jersey. Back to Wilson. Wilson's got support up alongside him. Good play, Valleys. About 22 metres uh, out from their own line with. Uh, the second row forward, Roach, slipping it away to McAlpine in the tackle and did well too to Staines. Staines moving across now, gets his hands free to get the pass away now to the support up alongside is Dwyer. Over the halfway mark, Dwyer looks back inside for the support. There it comes Bailey as usual down the middle, but Bailey can't get away with it. Great play from Brothers. And Valley staying on top of the player, lying on top of the player there, not letting him get up to play the ball and get reorganised, which is a tactical uh, ploy, of course. Across it goes this time, bit of uncertainty, on to Joe Kilroy, further across into Klein. Climbs up to the quarter line, makes a break climb. He's got a couple of players to beat, gets the pole back inside, beautifully picked up by Grogan, and Grogan goes over to put it down after some great play from Brothers, and they lead by four points to them. Kilroy's dummy half decides to have a run. Gets away from Strasser and company for a moment to, to Dwyer. Dwyer making some good runs, and there's Grogan on that flank. Look at Grogan flashing down the touchline. He's got the full back to beat, and Grogan beat him? No. Well tackled by Booth, and into touch, 22 metres out. Bit under this uh, concentrated attack as it comes across to Smith, holding it up out wide to McAlpine, further across to Joe Kilroy. And Kilroy decides to have a go for the corner, gets away, and dives in the corner, he scored in the corner, Joe Kilroy. Another excellent try, and Brothers lead by solid 10 early, points. and uh, Brothers were turning the ball back up inside, and the forwards having no trouble handling them at all, but as soon as they get it out wide, they trouble Valleys every time. Look at Staines running now, the rock forward, right down, he's looking for the support back inside, Kilroy's in there, there's Kilroy. Kilroy's racing away, he's got Kiss there, back it comes again out towards, back to Kilroy, and Kilroy's over his second try within about a minute. Sensational play from Brothers, and they go Halfway. to the lead. Tim Dwyer, across then to Zillman, and then to Roach and this Grogan. Grogan makes that break over the halfway mark and away he goes again. He's got Kilroy with him. Uh, look at Grogan flying. And then to Kilroy. Kilroy races away. And here's another try with three coming up to Joe Kilroy. And Brothers going to a lead of 20 points to nil. About nine minutes out in the line. Across it comes on the final tackle. Harkin puts it up. And too many Brothers players there. Very nearly lost. Bra Valleys pick up the loose ball. The fight for possession. It's a try. First points to Valleys. As it goes down to Michael Booth. Now Booth making a good break there. Very good run from the fullback. Now running back the other way. What's going on here? Looking for McCabe. Finally gets him. Gets past the kiss. And kiss 10 metres short of the halfway mark. That was a great run from Valleys fullback. Eight metres out from his own line. Comes across to... Uh, Speed of Brothers over the halfway mark, looking for the support, and uh, out it goes in very quickly. Two to Klein, Klein racing down to Grogan, rather. Grogan just picked up by the jersey. Now Bailey and uh, McGraw takes it up the second row forward, makes a clean break as he got away from McCabe too. What, what a run from the uh, little second row forward, slipping it away very quickly to Tynan, and uh, the, the winger up alongside him. Great just at that moment, ten metres short of the halfway mark, spun across then to McAlpine from his uh, five eighth outside of him to the big fellow Smith. Just knocked off balance for a moment. Over the halfway mark. Look at this rangy big forward. Sending it back into Bailey. Backing up as usual. Back to McAlpine. McAlpine's look for the sport. There's Dwyer onto Kilroy. Kilroy's just about through. He scored three tries already. On it comes to Smith. And Smith races for the corner. That's another try to Brothers. And Brothers go to a lead of 24 points to six. Nice across Brothers the top then to Tynan. Tynan gets it away to Kilroy. Kilroy tries to get away. And he does so successfully, Joe, as he comes back in field. Slips the pass away very quickly. There's the support. Racing through goes Smith and puts the ball down. Another try to Brothers. And Brothers go to a lead of 28 points to six. What Brothers do with Henry Foster, possibly due next week after uh, being out with a uh, knee injury, I think it is, for Foster. Uh, whether or not they'll... points uh, to six. And there it goes. Flags are up, so Brothers take their tally to 30. Valley six. That should be six tackles to go yep. when the play gets in the road like that. Referee indicated uh, that as Maxim McKay. McKay charging through, trying to get the pass. Slips away, does the coin and coin. Racing around to put the ball down between the post. And that's the second try to Valley's. Consolation stuff here for Valley. Bailey and Zilman. 
the pass across. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a very good pass for Staines, but picked up by Valleys. And it's Coyne who's racing away with it. He's got support there with Newman. Newman's uh, putting on plenty of pace, but well picked up by Dwyer and putting the touch on half one quarter line. See, that was Johnny, good Johnny Tapp uh, as a replacement for Staines is off the field. The uh, lock forward for Brothers, John uh, Tapp. And now here's the uh, pass coming right out wide to uh, Les Kiss. Kiss beats one tackle and another one. He's got the full back to beat. Gets the pass back inside, but uh, Tim Dwyer said thank you very much. The Brothers. <laughs>